Pshu! Boopity boo! Bang! Hello there, gaming fans. Welcome to my hideout. I am your host, the Horde. Back with another gameplay video for your entertainment today. Uh, today. Today we return to the story of Renya. Is his name Renya? Repka? Rainer? Rimjob? I don't remember. But that's whose story we're telling today. So, in the first episode, quick recap, our mother hated us and left us, our sister liked us and left us, left to our own devices, we decided upon a game of hide and seek with our friends, which then turned into a game of cat and mouse with a weirdo. And by the end of episode one, we'd been kidnapped by said weirdo, because when we were opening the door looking for Mr. Tiddles, who is a cat, we were then caught by the weirdo, who is the metaphorical cat, and then taken away with our sister. Now, I've just thought about this. Our sister disappeared a few days before. So why is she in the same car as us and the kidnapper? That doesn't make sense. Hopefully, it's gonna make sense when we head back into the story and are so scared that we lose our mind because that's what Chiller's art does to everyone in episode two of The Kidnap. Get ready for more violent scenes and grotesque expressions. I know I promised you that in the first episode. I don't think we saw any. Okay, so here we are opening our eyes in the kidnapper's car. There's our sister. God knows why she's here. Maybe it's not our sister. I'm pretty sure it's our sister. Didn't we talk to her in the first episode? Yes, we did. That's how I knew it was our sister, yeah? And I didn't think, oh, that's just another random kid he's kidnapped, along with me. Goes around collecting children, apparently. But no, it's just me and my sister. Why is he focused on one household? Maybe this is dad. Dad, have you kidnapped us? Oh, I remember this, yeah. Where am I? I need to get out of a room with no escape that also has two doors and two windows. Looks like I'm not tied down. Is there a way out of this room? Too damn right there is. There are loads. Why did you go straight for the rubbish bag? Yeah, that's not gonna be a way out. There could have been a hammer in there, man. That has also just brought something rushing back into my mind. At the start of the game, we found ourselves in a room with a hammer on the floor, and then a weird guy came in, and I think this is the room because <laughs> There's the hammer. I swear, I thought of that before I recognized there was a hammer in here, yeah? So there's a basketball. Why have you gone for the basketball? You've gone for a basketball and a rubbish bag, yeah? Can pick up the fucking hammer. Got it, right, it's got blood all over it, mate. It's not blood, it's red paint, yeah? The guy's obviously been decorating this room. There's no red paint anywhere in the fucking room. There's loads all over the floor. That's blood, you prick. Shut up, we're out of here. Done, that was the easiest fucking escape job I've ever fucking known. Are you serious? Am I out? What's in the other rooms? Nothing in this one. Nothing in that one. Apart from a shitty old sink. Am I in an apartment block? What's going on in here, man? Okay, there's lots of rubbish bags in there. Now, those rubbish bags remind me of my house. But there's also a bucket full of paint, see? I told you he was doing the place up. Why he's been painting sheets, though, I don't know. Maybe that was practice. I'm going to try on these bed sheets that I no longer use before I start painting the walls because I don't want to make a mess of the walls. Okay, we found a bike and a way out. I can't get off this fucking roof, man. Is there a ladder that I missed walking around? Can I jump onto this? Come on, man. It's basically a little slide down. Can I jump onto this? It's a pretty big jump for a little boy, but I am Renya, super boy. No, I'm not. I'm Renya, can't jump, rubbish boy. Uh, there's no way down, man. Maybe I have to just go through a different window. I mean, that would make sense. Why would that make sense? I don't want to go into another part of the house. I want to get the fuck out of here. Jump onto these bars. Then we'll swing like a gymnast over the wall and we're fucking away. Nope, not allowed to do that either. Fucking hell. You're going to make me climb into this bit, aren't you? With all the fucking painted sheets. Mate, it's not paint, it's blood. Shh, it's paint, all right? Don't scare me any more than I need to be. I can't fucking do anything. Do I need to go back in and go out a different window? Well, where's the other window going to take me? That's this fucking window. No, no, wait. That's sis. Sis. Look, she hasn't got a face. I swear you should be able to see like a chin or something coming from behind the hair. You can't see fucking anything. Sis! Is someone eating your face? She can't hear me. I have to get into her room. Oh wait, there's a van coming as well. Oh no! He's back! Does this mean I have to get back in my room? I suppose I could hammer the fucking planks back on the window. Get me in, dickhead. He's sliding the windows from one side to another. Maybe I jump on him and kill him with the hammer. But I don't see him coming closer to the house. It's not like he's actually coming here. I think it's supposed to just shit me up. Right, now I can go over the balcony and back into the house where the painted sheets are. You hear a weird noise. It sounds like a pig on the loose. And there's the bucket of paint. Fucking hell, those stairs are sheer. Jesus Christ, I won't be falling down them. His paint can had a drip and it drip, drip, dripped all the way around. Which room's sisters? Is it this one? Hi, sis. Hi, I thought you needed some company. Sis, let's get out of here. What 
do you think you're doing? I'm breaking you out, yeah? It's a rescue mission. I'm the one who asked Mr. to kidnap me. You don't need to ask Mr. to kidnap you. That's what he does. He kidnaps people regardless. And I had him kidnap you too. Sis, I was doing all right at home, yeah? I had my friends, I had hide and seek, and I had noodles. What about Mr. fucking Tiddles, yeah? Is someone going to go back and kidnap him? It was all my plan to get Mom to look after us, care for us. This is a shit plan, sister. I thought she was meant to be smart, yeah? She gets hundreds in tests. She's got no fucking common sense. She scores a zero in that, you dozy bitch. You know this guy's going to try and finger one of us, probably both of us, with the same finger. It's the perfect plan to get Mom to love me again. Mom, Mom's fucking gone. She hates the pair of us. Me for pissing the bed and you for being cleverer than she is. What's happened? She, she just kicked me out of the room? The little bitch! Right, that's... What's happening? Did this door open? This is the bathroom. The dirty fucking bathroom. Am I gonna die? What's gotten into you, sis? I should get out of here before the guy finds me. Yeah, fuck sister's plan. He's gonna be as soon as I open this door. This door wasn't shut before. Okay, we're all right for now. <sighs> Quick, back on the roof. Back on the fucking roof. This time we're jumping off. I don't care if I break my legs. Okay, apparently I'm not. What about if we use one of these sheets as a cape and I float down? Nope, that's not gonna work either. Fucking hell, all right. Give me some kind of weapon. Have I still got the hammer? Get the fucking hammer out. We'll crack this guy in the fucking eyelids as soon as he comes around the corner. Pervert! You down here? Fucking hell, this place is enormous. I'm amazed. Shit, who's this? There's a dead guy. Is this him? Is this a kidnapper? What's he doing here? He's passed out. Oh, he's pissed. He's had one can of beer and he's fucking slipped unconscious. Right, let's have a bit of a look around. I'm not just going to take his keys. Let's see what else we've fucking got. He's got any ramen? There's nothing in my fridge when I get back home. He proper fucking wallops his face on the floor. That guy's not getting up for a while. Let's explore the rest of the house. No sense bothering him yet. Oh dear, what's happened in here? Why did you get a murderer to fucking kidnap us, you dozy bitch? If you're gonna fake a kidnapping, get someone who isn't a real kidnapper to do it, yeah? This guy's gonna fucking kill us when he wakes up. What else have we got? Having a good scout out of the house. There's a lot of fucking rubbish, and there are a lot of bloodstains. Is this dripping through the fucking ceiling? Hey, I found a box. What have we got here? I hit him again. How long am I gonna keep him in that room? Sarau has grown up. I know he's a kind boy. I'm a terrible mother. I'm so sorry, Sarau. I'm sorry that I can't control my anger. You look like him the more you grow. Someday I hope you'll understand. Now, Sarau, I think, was the boy I was right at the very beginning. Uh, who fucking shut me in here? Don't you fucking dare do that. Why is there a bin bag through the door? Maybe that's why it closed. I think I've pretty much been everywhere. He's got, oh, he's got the same picture. It's like a reproduction. Get some variety in the house, man. You can't just be relying on one damn picture. I mean, for the house of a murderer, other than the blood and all the bin bags that's probably full of bodies, it's not that bad. I've been in worse murderers' houses, let me tell you. How did he just walk through the door, drink one can of beer, and immediately pass the fuck out? Give me the keys. Right, we're off. Fuck you, sis. We're going. You can stay here and rot and let the murderer fuck you to death. I don't care. I'm out of here. He's going to catch me, man. Have I got a sprint? We've got a bike. Who needs a fucking sprint? Give me this fucking bike, mate. Come on, undo the fucking lock. Where are you going? I knew he'd fucking catch me. You were passed out a second ago, mate. Get fucked. Your sister's gonna be worried. No, she isn't. She doesn't give a shit. She wanted us kidnapped, the mad little twat. Don't take me back in the room. Oh, fuck me bollocks. Why are you allowed the freedom of the house? Just relax. Well, not fucking relax. Mister listens to everything I say. It's because he wants to fuck your snatch in. Don't you do anything weird. What are you fucking mean weird? Like escape a fucking madman's house? That's not weird. That's normal. You're the weird one, bitch. It's the only way to get mum to love me again. Mum is never gonna love you. She hates you. Just like she hates me. We've ruined her life. Don't you, what do you mean? Okay, fine. It's not okay fucking fine, you idiots. Fucking it. They were teaching a stranger danger at school and we've paid no fucking attention at all. Sis is acting strange. No shit. What should I do? Hit her with the hammer. Maybe she'll come around. Where's that fucking hammer? I'm not going to bed. I'm not sleeping in this fucking house, man. Getting the fuck out of here. I can't rely on my sister. I need to go get help. Yeah, let's fucking go. Should I really go? Yeah, let's fucking go. This is where it determines what kind of ending we're getting, yeah? I've got the choice of staying in the madman kidnapper killer's house with my weird sister or escaping. Now, Escaping should be the good ending, but I imagine what's going to happen is I'm going to escape and he's going to murder my sister. To be honest, she deserves it, so let's go. Yes, I have to get out without being spotted by Mr. or my sister. How the fuck am I going to get out without either of them seeing me? I don't know where they fucking are. Am I going to have to, like, retry this a number of times? Can I go out the balcony? Balcony's all locked up, mate. There's no way out that way. So I'm assuming as soon as I get downstairs, then I'm on a mission to escape. <laughs>
Fuck! I got caught immediately. I'm bad at this. No, I'm not. Retry. That was a lesson in what not to do when you're trying to escape a paedophile kidnapper's house. Come on, let's fucking go. I'm not fucking hanging around. Don't worry, no one's gonna catch me. I know the way out of the house, yeah? I just need to not get spotted as soon as I go through this fucking door. All right, can I stand here? There's mister. He didn't see me that time. The prick. So what we're gonna do is go into the living room. Uh, shit, there's sister. It's all right, don't worry. Don't. What do you mean it requires a battery? Fuck that, mate. Shit, there's mister. Hopefully he doesn't come through here. Can't I just fucking go out this door? Come on, man. Close this fucking one. Close it, you prick. Why is there a yellow thing on sister? I think it's just alerting me that she's there, yeah? Why does this require a battery? It's clearly got batteries in it. It's playing. Take the fucking batteries out of it. No, don't. They'll know that I'm pissing around the radio. They love the radio. He's still fucking standing there, man. I don't know what he's talking about. Talking to himself, the little weirdo. Am I supposed to talk to sister? No, if I go any further, I'll get spotted. There has to be a way to distract them. Oh, that's where the keys are, I see. That's what he's pointing to. She's watching cats on a loop on the TV. Now, that's not weird behavior. I do that, but this is a five second clip on a loop. So that's a little bit weird. So I need to find batteries, yeah? What have we got here? I've got a TV remote, yeah? That'll distract sister. I'm gonna change it to dogs. She hates dogs, she's scared of them. She'll shit her knickers. How do I fucking use it? Come on, turn the dogs on. Ha, the TV's off. It turned off by itself. Too fucking right it did. Where's the remote again? I've stolen it, bitch. Now hopefully she leaves- Ah! Fuck. She does leave the room, but unfortunately I was standing right by the door that she left it by. We'll do that again. That's a lesson in how not to escape your weird sister. And I think that's all the lessons I've got to teach you. So now we're going to have to just try and escape the house. Come on, fuckface. Let's get out of here. I mean, where am I going to find a battery? Maybe I should do that before I go downstairs. Oh, shit. Don't fucking forget that that guy's down there. Let's try and find this fucking battery. Where's it going to be, mate? Where's it going to be? Battery, battery, where are you? Is it in the bath? No, it's not in the bath. I can get the TV remote. Don't get the TV remote yet. In fact, do. Get the TV remote so we can get the keys. Because she's just going to go in. Ugh. Turn this fucker off. Take that bitch. She's going to go in that room. It's in the other room, bitch. I'm going to grab the keys. The keys are mine. Okay. Shit. I've, oh, God. I've got myself lost. I don't know what I'm doing. Quick. Escape. 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 Uh, shall I hide on the stairs? Oh, fuck. How did she not see me? Because she's an idiot. She's roaming the house now looking for a remote. I should have put that back, to be fair. I haven't got it anymore. I swallowed it. Shit. Now, is she just constantly wandering around or will she give up and sit down? I'm going to wait here for an hour to see if she comes back. Shit, that was the door closing. She is. So she's on a loop, okay? So now what we need to do is to get the creepy guy. Oh, fuck me. I've hidden in the toilet. That is a fucking terrible idea. Where am I going? Shit, I think she comes in here. I think she comes in here, mate. I think she comes in here looking for the remote. Why are you hiding in here? Shit! <laughs> Fuck. Is there a battery in here, mate? Uh, that's that shit little book again. Oh my god, we can't hang around in here. Fuck. Where are the batteries at? Where are the fucking batteries at? Ugh. Maybe the batteries are near the guy. Let's wait for sis to walk past again. She's fucking rubbish. Proper got away from her. She hasn't got a fucking clue. Come on, man. There's batteries around here, I know it. I fucking on. Unless you can use these keys on a different door, which I fucking can't, of course. Because these keys, despite there being many on this key ring, are all for the same fucking lock. Bullshit. Are there any batteries in this toilet? No. Nope. Didn't think there would be. Yeah, you did. That's why you tried it. Are there any batteries in here? Come on, man. I need a fucking battery. Why is she just walking around in circles, the fucking little idiot? She gets a hundred in lessons, yeah? She's got no fucking common sense. She's walking around in circles on a loop. Her brain's broken. Where's she fucking gone? Come back, sis. Here we go. I'm just walking around in the same circle as my sister now. So how fucked up this has gone. Come on, man. Where's the fucking batteries at? Uh, she's fucking rubbish, yeah? She's actually seen me a number of times, yet she hasn't. Look at her. Fucking dozy cow. How the fuck are we related? I got all the street smarts, but she's got fucking nothing. There won't be batteries in the fucking bloody bathtub, man. This is ridiculous. I've been in every fucking room, man. There are no batteries. But hang on, thinking about it, there must be a room next to the other room. I'll show you what I mean. All right, let me go through here. Oh, I'm gonna have to follow Sis for a second because she's gonna go where I wanna go. At the end of the room, uh, that door, there's gotta be a room next to it. Let's go and see. Let's go and see if I'm right. Because the house is basically a big square. So these things must be actual doors. Fucking son of a bitch they are. Right, close them then. Close it. We're in here. I found battery. Why does he store his batteries on this thing? Shit! Who's just gone up there? Climb up to the attic? Who went up to the attic? Let's do it. No, I've got batteries, man. I need to go and fuck the radio. I could have got out. Why am I up in the attic? Is there another kid up here? Hiding? Hello? Oh, fuck me. There's loads of blood up here. Ah! 
the fuck was that? Oh my god, this dead person. There's someone's face and hand. It's a mask. Mate, it's got teeth, yeah? It's a realistic mask. It's someone's face, you prick. The ghost who's just fucking scared me. It's their face. Right, have I still got keys? Yeah, okay, let's get the fuck out of here. I wish I'd not seen that, but I've seen that, yeah? So now I'm gonna have nightmares and piss the bed every night for the rest of my life. I already used to piss the bed a lot, and now I'm gonna go on forever. So let's open this door in a way that, ah, there she is. Sis isn't gonna fucking see us. We'll follow Sis around, because I think as soon as I put the battery in the radio, the guy is also gonna be on patrol. So let's go through. Huh, what's that? Mister's coming in. Uh, I think I fucked this. Ah, oh, Sister's there! Shit, I'm hiding here. Can I, can I crouch? Can I crouch? Pretend I'm a tree! Shit! It's alright, sister's fucking useless, mate. She'll never see me coming. Right, so what I'm gonna do is stand on the stairs. I'm gonna wait to see if Mr. comes and see if he's doing a loop. And if not, then I expect sister to pass me quite soon. And then we're gonna make a break for the front door and steal the bike and get the fuck out of here. Mr. hasn't come. Sister has. Okay, let's go. He's just in there, mate, with the radio. We're fucking out of here. Fuck you, guy. I'm gone. Yes. Take the bike. Wait, I have to unlock the fucking gate first. Then we can take the bike. Come on. Yes. Yes. Yes, I take the bike. Yes. Nothing was gonna fucking stop me, mate. I was having that, like it or not. I have to ride it? Shit. I actually have to ride it. Oh my god. It's easier to ride than it was to drive a car in the radio station. This is pretty simple. I imagine, though, that the pervert and my crazy sister are gonna catch up to me pretty fucking soon because they're gonna realize that I've disappeared. The, the, the door's unlocked, the bike's gone. Yeah, he's fucking coming. Shift. Fuck, pedal, man, pedal. Now I can fucking do some kind of sprinting. Pedal, is this the park where we played hide and seek? Where am I fucking going? Surely I'm not going home. The guy already knows how to get in there and fucking kidnap me from it. Oh, there's the headlights. We're in fucking trouble now, man. We're not getting away from this guy, not again. Oh, fucking hell. Come on, pedal, you prick. He's right fucking behind me. I didn't look. Oh, I can't, anyway. Fucking keep pedaling. Caught. What the fuck do you mean, man? How the fuck am I supposed to get away from him? I fucking had shift down the whole bastard way. Right, this time we're just going straight for it, yeah? No detours. I'm not going to try and go off the fucking road at any point. I'm just going to slam it. Shift down, arse in gear, straight for fucking Mum's house. I don't understand why we're going to Mum's house, right? It's the furthest fucking point away from where we are. And no one's there. And this guy's already broken in and kidnapped us from there. Why are we going back? I'll tell you why. Because we're going to fucking get Mr. Tiddles to scratch his fucking cock off. Mr. Tiddles! I need you to save me. There's a paedophile on the loose. And my sister has encouraged it. The grooming little bitch. This is the shop. I've still got fucking miles to go after the shop. This can't be the way that I have to go. There's no fucking chance. Which house should I go to? All oh, right, brilliant. Uh, Cage's Masahiro's or go to the left? We're gonna go left. I think that was a bad choice. Where the fuck am I? The van's here and I'm off my bike. Where am I fucking going now? I think this is the way home. I've made it worse by deciding to go home myself. I had the choice of going to my friend's house, and I decided not to. There's some warbling guy right behind me, man. Unless that's me making that noise, but I don't think it is. That sounds like a pervert, not a young boy. That's a real pervert that you can hear. I've heard one in the wild. It's all right, I'm back home. I live down here. Why are you running? Let's go home together. Fuck you, man. Caught. Do I have to do the whole bike bit again? Son of a bastard. Bear with me. This is going to take some time to get the right fucking choice, yeah? I'm going to go to each of my friends first, find out that I get caught both of those times, and then we'll go back left like I should do, because clearly there's a fucking way I can go there. Hate this bit. Right, we're going to KG's house first. My friend's parent immediately called the police. Sis tried to explain everything to the police, but they brushed her off. The mister was arrested as a kidnapper. The police contacted our mother. That sounds like a pretty good ending. How did they fucking know how to contact our mother? I apologize for the inconvenience caused. Oh no, that's not how mum speaks. I apologize for the inconvenience caused. Oh, it's nothing to worry about. I'm sure the two of them must have been terrified. Please care for them. I'm glad there were no injuries. Come on, you two. We're heading home. I want to fucking head home with you. She looks quite kind. She's got a kind face. Why is she such a bitch underneath? Sis, you seem kind of happy. He <laughs> hee, you may be right. Well, because mom came. Yeah, is that it? Great. Seems like a good ending so far. Ugh! Shit, she's found the mess. Why do you guys keep being a nuisance? I've never been called by the police before. How embarrassing that was. Mum, we got fucking kidnapped, yeah? It's not like we went out and committed a crime. We were victims of a crime, you bitch. I don't have time for this. Why do I have to go through something like this for some kids I don't give a damn about? Don't ever trouble me like this again. Thanks, Mum. You're so kind. 
What's this doing? <laughs> it was fucking off again. Yeah? You really wanted her back, did you? Why? Yeah, why did you want that mad bitch back? She fucking hates us. Retry? Fuck you! Fine. Before or after the escape? Obviously fucking after. Why do I want to do it before the escape? That makes no fucking sense, does it? I'm sure I've not done anything wrong. I saw everything in the house. Fucking hell. I know I've got to go home, yeah? I just don't know why. If I go to Masahiro's house, the same fucking thing's gonna happen. Okay, so I went. Masahiro's house is exactly the same as expected. But something kind of stuck in my head. Why would it give me the option of going back to before the escape? Because it wants me to go to bed instead of trying to escape completely, doesn't it? It wanted me to take the other option. Like I said, this is where it's giving me a choice to make. As usual, choose the wrong one for the fucking bad ending. So what it actually wants me to do, I'm sure, is fall asleep. Obey my sister. Yes, it's a bad idea. I shouldn't be doing it, but I'm going to do it. Should I really? Yes, because I had no fucking luck the other way. It's been two weeks, shit. I listened to my sister and decided to live in the kidnapper's house. I didn't want any trouble, so I stopped going to school. He allowed me to go to school? I can't really agree with my sister's plan, but I trust her. Mate, <laughs> you're the only fucking one that does. Am I, am I still playing? Right, yeah, I'm making Korean rice, so come help out. Fucking hell, have we got a happy family now we're living with the kidnapper? Is that all it took? Okay, sis, I'll come and help with dinner. This place is a shithole just like home. It's like we never left. Sis, I'm here. What do I have to do? Cut the potatoes. Easy. And the carrots. And the onions. Done. Yum. Sis is special. Korean rice. Thanks, good job cutting the vegetables. Did I hear the door? Sounds like someone's here. Renya, can you go and answer it? Sure thing. They sound like they're in a fucking rush, mate. Why isn't the kidnapper answering it? Kidnapper, I know we've been here two weeks, but do you want to go and answer the fucking door? It's a little bit weird. I mean, surely he saw whoever came in. Kidnapper, he's just humming to himself. Little fucking freak. All right, all right. You're going to fucking break our bell, you prick. I'm coming, you fucking weasel. Stop banging on the bell. Oh, shit, is this a cop? Shit. This is the police! I fucking know, mate. So what? I live here. I spoke to the police about the whole situation. I didn't want anyone to get in trouble, but they didn't take my words seriously because I'm just a child. That mister ended up getting arrested as a kidnapper and the police seemed to be contacting our mother. This is the same fucking ending, man. Oh, fuck! How do I get the good ending? Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck off, mum, you bitch. I know what you're gonna do when you get us home. Yep, exactly the same. Fucking hell. So what am I supposed to fucking do? Yeah, why do I keep getting the same ending no matter what fucking choice I make, sis? So we're gonna go again and try it after escape. And this time, what we're gonna do is see if we can go to our other friend. See, it doesn't give us the option, but I know she's on the route home. Now, I can't remember her name, but her mum is involved with social services or something, yeah? She loves damaged children. So I'm gonna turn up with a kidnapper in tow and ask for fucking help. Because I tried running home and I couldn't fucking make it. I got caught. I mean, it's entirely possible that I went to the wrong house because it was pretty fucking dark. Go, go! Fucking hell, straight to a telegraph pole. I fucked it, straight away. I'm not getting fucking anywhere. I'm not getting away from this guy. It just seems odd that there are so many different options that I can take. And no matter which one I do, I get the same fucking ending. Right, now we're on foot. So I don't know where our friend lives down here. He's on foot. I can hear his footsteps. I can hear him moaning his fucking paedophile song in my ear. Okay, right. Is this the house? The one with the lights on? Let's try it. Let's try it. Hello? I've been caught again. I rushed into Kahimi's house. I didn't know where else to go. I remember her mother worked at a place where they took care of troubled kids. Yeah, see? I remembered that too. Kahimi's mother listened carefully to what I had to say. She agreed to shelter me and my sister for a few days and even went to the mister's home to pick my sister up. I heard my sister had resisted at first but eventually calmed down and left the mister's house. So you got really attached to him, yeah? Kahimi's mother also met the mister and understood that he meant no harm. What about all the fucking blood in his house? However, from here on out, she firmly told us to leave him alone. She then suggested we both go to foster care. We were happy to be given the choice. Well, it's a happier ending than being back at fucking mum's house. Jesus. Do I get to pick my parents? This feels like a real ending. Welcome home! Is this home? How was school? Did better than you did. Got 101, yeah? Fuck off. You alright sis? A lot happened, huh? Yeah, yeah it did. But it sure is comfortable here. Is it? That's a fucking bonus. I don't see any rubbish bags either. Come to think of it, you always were afraid of mum. That's because she was a mad bitch. Shit, who's that? Is that mum? I don't want to go with mum. I will watch over these kids. I am their mother. Shit, no. Mum's here. Sis, run. Get back to the kidnapper's house. Mum's here. Sakiko, Renya, we're leaving. Shit. 
Not this fucking crazy old witch again. No! 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 How did you guys end up like this? Where were you? It's a little bit different. We were in a paedophile's house, Mum. Sis set it up. She found him on Tinder. Sick, Kiko! Answer me! I answered you! Listen to me for once. Um, uh, Mister's house! Is his name Mister? I asked him to kidnap us! Sis, don't. Don't make it worse. What? Kidnap you two? What was he thinking? What the hell is wrong with him? Mom, no! Oh no, that was shit. I did mum a nice voice. Like she was actually concerned about us. Mom, no! He's not a bad person. Shut up! You be quiet, Sakiko, or I'll cut your throats. You have the nerve to kidnap my children and cause me so much trouble, huh? Who's she talking to? Is that in the car? Getting involved in other people's family affairs. Mum's going psycho. These kids can live on their own, goddammit. This is the bad ending again, man. That's it, I've had enough. I'm going to the mister's house. Maybe mum and mister get it on, and then we all live happily ever after as a foursome. Not a sex foursome, yeah? I just mean mum and mister and me and sister. And mum and mister are the only people in that having sex. So you're the kidnapper! Turn around and face me! I hope he fucking smacks her with that, whatever that is. How dare you kidnap my child! You didn't fucking look after his mum, you mad bitch! They're my kids for God's sake! You fucking walked out and left us for two months! You have no authority over them! Neither do you! Which? These are my children! I am their mother! I'm the only one who's allowed to kick the shit out of them whenever I want! Children just need to simply listen to what their parents tell them! She's gonna explode if she doesn't calm down. That is what happiness is for, kids! <laughs> Sound like it, Mum. You would never understand! That's because you only speak in shouts, woman. Hey! Are you listening to me? No, because your shouts have made me deaf. Oh, she was talking to the mister. Fuck! Mister's killed mum! It's happy ending. It's the happy ending we all wanted. Mum is dead. Oh, nice one, mister. Can we move back in? Mister! No, don't you leave us too, you old bastard! Mister! God damn it. But why? Why are you doing this? Hey, I'm happy about it. It's the good ending. Yay. That's the ending we were supposed to get. Our bitch mother gets stabbed in the head by a kidnapper and we go back to foster care where we live happily ever after. Never works out that way. But Renya's happy about it. Bit of a weird one, that. Didn't really see any of that coming. What with sister's plan for the kidnapping. That was odd. What with mum not giving a shit about us still, even after we've been kidnapped. That's odd. Only giving a shit when she found out that a man had helped us to try and get her back on side. That's the only time she cared. And she cared so much, she went round to his house and shouted at him until he did what we all wanted to do and stabbed her in the fucking throat. All that's left to say today is, thank you for watching the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please take care of yourselves out there and I will see you next time. Goodbye!